Right, so loads of cyclists do this, including myself, activations, where you get a rubber band like this and do some stuff to normally activate the glute. Now, <clears throat> I will do a more in-depth video because I actually want to go into this topic a lot, but I thought I'd just do a subsurface sort of preview video about why it might not be that useful. Now, first of all, we've got a caveat that maybe a lot of... Actually, we'll say that at the end about why cyclists have injuries and maybe it is. Um, but anyway, we've all seen it. Low-level exercises with mini bands performed during or prior to warm-up. Um, activation or pre-activation exercises. Um, and I spoke to this guy, Jared McCohen, who I believe is a big name. Uh, he's got a PhD in neuromuscular tendon adaptations to resistance training. So I reckon a pretty qualified bloke to go. Um, so first question in theory, what are they trying to attempt? Um, and they're trying to basically say here um, that they want to see a muscle contraction. And he's basically saying is that you can't activate your muscles because like if you can't, sorry, you'd have a clinical condition because you just can. Like it's just one of those things where, you know, if you're a normal population, you don't think, oh, wow, I can't, you know, I need to use my uh, glute or whatever. I can't use it. But he says like 90 to 100 percent of people can use their muscles. You know, some things you can't move your nose or whatever. Fair enough. Um, and this won't be modified by warm up activation. So this guy's very against it. Um he thinks some of the warm-up will be enhanced by doing specific exercises. Um, he just says a lot of people, you know, aren't clear on what they want. Um, is there any benefit to it? Um, he just says no. He just says what, what would be better is just to, um, is to require the exercise you want to do. So for cycling, you know, just warm up, just, you know, ride. Like most people do that out the door, you know, you're not going to do a max effort out the door. So it's fine. Um, and he just says that in reality, like, there's no need to do it at all. Um, and this is the thing that I think a lot of guys, glute doping is one of them, who says the glute, does it really need activating? Um, and his, his answer is no. Um, he said, just says a progressively increasing intensity running, jumping, change direction will activate the glutes. And I think this is maybe where cycling is different, where you can get away without using your glutes at all. So maybe it is good. But at the same time, I don't really know, like, because when you activate your glutes, like, I can do stuff and I can feel my glute working. But then when I go on the ride of the bike, does the brain then, like, have that link? But, or, like, you know, can it not use it? Like, that's the thing that always is a bit baffling on this is because you think at the end of the day, I can use my glute if I need to. So maybe in my disposition or, like, the way I'm cycling, you don't need to use it. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it's an interesting point here is that he thinks that the glutes are not don't need to be activated um and then i think the, this is more why the glutes um i think that's also just because uh he was saying because people go on the office all day so they have sleepy glutes but even then he thinks that do you need to do a separate batch of exercises to activate it he thinks no and i think that's the thing it's like if you just do a normal warm-up do you need to and if you're just cycling and you do a warm-up before a race is that enough potentially that's what he is saying, um, because at the end of the day, after like what, how many pedal strokes, like an hour in, are you still going to be activated? Like, I think that's the thing that's sort of weird in my head and why I've gone not against it. I still do it occasionally, but not as religiously as I used to be, because it is like, is it useful? But Camp Hurts is all over it. Um, I guess the only thing in cycling maybe would be that for the stuff like TT bike, where you want to get your shoulders warmed up so it's used to this position, yeah. I could see a, more of a reason to do that. Obviously, on the warm up, you know, you get into the TT position, that, that helps. Maybe that, but I think otherwise, I don't know. It doesn't seem that useful. But I, I want to try and get a couple of people on here to, to have a little argument about whether they think it's good or bad. And maybe, you know, for cycling, it's more like prehab where you're trying to do stuff to, to prevent injuries. Um, I, you know, I'm not 100% sure why everyone does it, but it's just an interesting article saying that they think glute activations are not useful or that activations in general are not as productive as people think they are.